Well, it has survived for almost 20 years, so... Well, it has so far, so... I don't, I don't see it changing really that much. You know, it's... You always get a, a group of people that... Uh, pull of time into it, and I think that's what makes drum bass um, present. There's, there has been quite a big change with the uh, with the house scene now. The house was so big everywhere, <clears throat> and now all of a sudden no one's playing house anymore. It's all about minimal and electro house. So uh, if house disappeared, which was much bigger than drum and bass, then of course drum and bass can. <coughs> can disappear as well but uh, it might just change in a way that people are not going to say it's drone based but it's going to be something similar we don't know so no I don't I don't think drone based is going to change too much in the future um, from a scene point of view maybe on a musical level it will change I'm sure as well it's the same thing when the mu no music's playing or, or and the music starts playing and then people just start to move a little bit I love it when people just people start to move not much going on and so everyone's looking around to see the first person who's gonna be the first person to start moving and it's just and it all just kicks off when people just start moving everyone starts swinging their pants I love it There's nothing better an issue at the moment is whether drum and bass is sort of gonna go gonna go mainstream and I really don't think it ever will. I mean, it's got its own identity. Yeah, I mean, for me, drum and bass is infectious, but people, it doesn't go out towards the people. It won't float out and it won't go out, uh, sort of go mainstream. I think it's infectious in the way it draws people into it. Because drum and bass, because jungle, whatever, genre you want to call it, it's never become as commercial as something else. People, we can't just sort of play it all the time on, uh, on RSC Radio. I don't think that it will ever um, become commercial like House will because it's just, it's not as accessible, I guess. You know, house music's more accessible because you've got vocals, it's a lot slower, it's not as dark. Ultimately people want to hear and we know this from, you know, doing, uh, doing um, checks on our audiences. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to just going to maintain it. Yeah. yeah, it has done. It always has, and it always will, because it's an underground uh, genre. Because uh, I think not many, not many artists have signed up to majors. <clears throat> I think uh, almost everyone is doing it on an underground level. I presume it always stay underground. It won't never become too commercial. There'll be now and again a commercial hit, but it'll always stay on the ground. Drum and bass, what does it mean to me? It means, um, what does it mean to me? Well, I definitely love it, still love it. Um, it's not as it used to be before. Having fun. It means uh, expressing yourself. It means uh, making a lot of friends. Uh, I hardly listen to any drum and bass anymore. But I still, I still love doing it, that's for sure. I mean, playing it and, and producing it. Um, it means... Uh, watching people go crazy when you DJ, um, especially if you have an MC. Body, body,
Body, body, massive. I say to a man, you say bass, to a man, to a man. I don't know, I mean, it just reminds me back to when I started at university. I never saw drum and bass before when I went to a club and I just felt this electric vibe uh, inside the place uh, which, which grabbed me and it still does today.